Stop following me. You're making me nervous. You're not social distancing. What are you doing? Yeah, but you're not social distancing. <laughs> My shadow. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, it's still May 13th. It is still Thursday, 2021. So I just kind of wanted to show you uh, a little bit of what I was doing today. And we have a new prep for the homestead. And I'm going to go over that in a minute. But uh, I still had more stone there. I wanted to bring it back um, through here. So that's what I did. And uh, so now this whole area, you know, is uh, got stone in it. So I actually like it <laughs> less to cut. Because I still got to bring the lawnmower in and hit this spot. So, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so <coughs> Becky brought the flowers out in front of some of the beds, and we got the gnomes out as well. So I will come over here and show you these. So this gnome right here, <coughs> oh, Heather got me that for my birthday two years ago very very cool I think it was two years already I think it was it was either last year or two years ago so but I'm like that is cool you know what I think it was last year it was last year because I had it in the garden last year and obviously it's back this year and then these are the gnomes that one of my subscribers sent so they're in here now and uh, I think I, I told you guys earlier uh, we loaded, well, Becky planted um, all the onions. So there's like three complete rows of onions So in here. So we're, we're going to be loaded up with onions, which is good. All right, so uh, I had, uh, Becky calls me on the phone. She goes, somebody's here. I'm like, okay. So I come out, and I don't recognize the gentleman. And it is one of my neighbor's father. And he says, uh, I watch your channel. And uh, so he said, uh, I have this drone that I've never used. And it's still in the box and still wrapped up. And uh, so he said, uh, I want to give it to you. So he, could you use it to do some aerial footage, you know, when you do your videos? And I was like, you know what? Absolutely. And also, obviously, uh, having a drone is a great thing for security. Uh, you know, now and in a post event, because you can kind of get an idea uh, who's going to be around and, and stuff like that. So, uh, this is a Phoenix GPS foldable video drone. Okay, so I'm going to read some of the features on here. Uh, let's see HD video, a range of 2,000 feet plus, uh, brushless motors. Uh, follow me technology, real-time transmission, variable speed settings, audio ta auto takeoff and landing, uh, motorized 180 rotating camera, which is r real motorized 180 rotating camera, which is kind of cool. Uh, easy USB plug-in and charging three to five hours approximately. 32 minutes plus total flight time. Uh, and it also includes two batteries. So uh, I think that is absolutely very, very cool. And uh, I will be putting this together and I will be playing with this. And I will definitely be doing um, some drone footage. I just think that that is very, very cool. Um, that has actually been on a list of something that I've wanted to get for a while. But obviously, you know, with uh, other priorities taking precedent, I just hadn't done it. And so to have somebody come up and say, here, <laughs> that was very, very cool. So um, big shout out um, to my neighbor's father for doing that. He watches the channel. And uh, Max is going to use it to rub on the box. How nice. But uh, that's very, very cool. And uh, it definitely will get used. Uh, I know it's a smaller drone. Some of you are probably going to be like, oh, it's a small drone. That's fine. I don't need anything fancy or big. I'm not going to take it up 2,000 feet in the air. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll take it up, you know, maybe 200 feet and let it hover and 
take some aerial footage and, and like I said if it has the follow me technology I'll be able to walk around and it'll follow my path and I just think that's really cool because we can you know open it up in this area here and it'll be very very neat so I'm pretty excited about that so that's a really awesome thing to have and again a uh, great thing to have for security Max really <laughs> he's like yes really I'm gonna rub myself on this box so anyway I did open it up and I looked at it and it's all still in the packaging so it's never even been used not one time so I just think that is just like really really cool so uh, and especially with the camera can go all over and rotate I think that that's really neat as well and uh, I'm looking forward to doing it and using it and shooting some video for you guys and uh, in doing that and uh, actually I may take that on our trip with us when we go uh, checking out uh, some properties and uh, maybe I'll get some aerial footage of some properties and we'll see what's around there I think that would be really really neat as well so pretty excited um, pretty happy about that I think it's a lot of fun and uh, it'll be very very cool so uh, puppies are back out I had them in for a while earlier and uh, but uh, now, now Miss Molly's got to come and check it out too it must have some kind of other scent or something on there for them to be going nuts like that on the box they're marking like he's what he's doing is he's marking his scent on the box that's why he's rubbing because they got the glands in the sides of their face and so that's that's what he's doing there but uh, so anyway yes there we are um, I don't think I showed you guys this earlier today what I want to show you We have uh, asparagus popping up here and there. Let me see if I can find some of that that's coming up. And we'll go over here. So we got some asparagus here. There's another one here. There's one over there. And then another one over there. So they're starting to come up as well. And uh, like I said, what, what Beck did is... Uh, strawberries in the middle and then the asparagus all around the entire outside so uh, like I said eventually this whole bed will just be asparagus which is the game plan so this bed is never going to be replanted with anything else but asparagus <laughs> so that's uh, that's what we're gonna do but uh, yeah, it's uh, very quiet today it's very peaceful uh, a lot of sunshine today which was nice uh, there's a slight breeze. I, I was going to do a fire today, but I just, uh, with a little bit of wind and stuff like that, I decided against it. Uh, so we will definitely, and actually tomorrow, it can no longer be a cook fire. It could actually be a bonfire because uh, the burn ban that everybody likes to remind me of is done as of tomorrow, the 14th of May. So we will go in here really quickly, and there's the chickens and uh, the puppies and they're all just everybody's doing their thing I gave the chicken some treats and so they were happy about that alright so let's see what we got here since it's later in the day uh, we're only bringing in 102 watts on that side 42 watts on this side so we are done bringing in power right now the batteries are at 26.28 alright now it's pushing six o'clock now so what will end up happening just to give you an idea uh, by midnight tonight that might be at 26.10 so it, it'll slowly charge out and uh, so that's that's a good thing that is absolutely a good thing but much much nicer day today uh, really happy to see it and uh, looking forward to continued nice weather so I wanted to show you guys uh, this as well over here real quick. So the cherry tree was absolutely stunning when it was in full blossom. But what we have happening now, and I will show you really quickly. We have a lot of these, as you can see, they're all going into cherries. And so that's what happens after they blossom and they get pollinated. Then now, so some of them are just pollinating or just popping out now, 
but other ones like up through here you can see uh, they are turning into cherries as well so we are absolutely going to be loaded with cherries on this tree uh, this year and I'm like you have no idea how excited I am about that uh, I will in the fall I will top this off because I don't want it to continue to grow up so I will top this tree off in the fall uh, I will do the same with these guys I'll get the ladder out and I will top them off um, in the fall so that way we can keep them shorter keep them more manageable and they're going to be definitely better for that uh, these guys here you can kind of see right here guys with that starting to turn into pears okay so the small little bulb uh, and it's getting there so it's pretty exciting I, I don't know like I said I'm with uh, I grew up you got to understand how my in my grandparents place they had pear trees they had mature pear trees they had you know uh, cherry trees they had apple trees and we would used to go out as kids and just climb up in the tree and grab a pear or grab an apple or whatever the case may be and just eat it you know and that was like so cool to be able to do and uh, for these guys to get to the point now where we're gonna get fruit and uh, you know that is just uh, that is just such a cool cool thing and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really really excited about that it's just uh, takes me back to my childhood and uh, you know so it's just I don't know it's just that's part of the fun of it for me it's part of the fun so anyway so that's what's going on with that but uh, <laughs> so kind of a low-key day I did go out and I took a ride today and uh, I'm tired today though I did not sleep well last night I actually excuse me I don't know if you heard that or not but excuse me um, I uh, I didn't get to sleep until 6 this morning so and then the dogs had me up at 9 and I've been up all day so I'm tired <laughs> but uh, I did get out on a bike for a little bit did a nice ride went and got the bike inspected and so every year in New York they change the color of your inspection sticker so if the cops rolling down the road and let's say last year's color was yellow okay and uh, so now this year's color is gray so there's a big difference between yellow and gray so if the cops rolling down the road and we get past this year and then there you know it's still somebody's got a yellow tag on their window then they know they haven't had their vehicle inspected so it's another way that they can you know watch for that but this year's tag is gray and so I said ah perfect it'll go right along with the color of my bike so but that's all done bikes all inspected everything is done with that uh, just did the registration for that that came in and I mailed that back in uh, the car is the uh, registrations every two year for a motorcycle it's every year and then uh, for the uh, for the car I got to do my inspection on that I don't even know when that's due I think it's either this month or next month it might be June let's look together all right so here we are safety New York State safety inspection it is June so I got another month so I'll do that next month and uh, so there we are uh, I know every state is different how they do it but that's how they do it in New York uh, your registrations every two years your inspection is every year so but anyway I am gonna jump off of here uh, I'm gonna not today but I'm definitely going to be playing with this drone and I want to get some footage and you will see a video and you'll be like hey Prepper Nurse One has some aerial footage of the homestead. So, uh, pretty excited about that. I think it'll be really cool. It's a great thing to have in your preps as well. Uh, you know, something that you can utilize to uh, observe what's going on around you in an emergency situation. So, that's a kind of a cool thing too. Double double use, fun fun uh, video coverage and security as well. So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of here. I hope everybody's doing great. I will see you all tomorrow. I will be live streaming tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So I would encourage you all to please join me then. Now I have no idea what the topic is going to be yet, but I'm sure we'll come up with something interesting. Okay? Uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. We're one race called the human race. And as soon as we can figure that out and stop fighting each other over stupid, petty stuff all the time, we're going to be in a much better situation, okay? Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. 
tell him every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that you tell the people that you care about every single day how you feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that is going to stop you from reaching that goal is you. Nobody else can do it, okay? Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity. I don't know what they're barking at. No idea. Um, but uh, stay positive. Don't listen to negative people trying to put you down. You can do anything that you put your mind to. All right? I will see you all later. Have a great night. Prepper Nurse 1, out.